So guys, according to CNBC, individual investors are making this up. Nobody is colluding against them. Nobody is trying to protect shorts. Nobody is trying to involve in any side of the market. Even Melissa Lee, a person that was extremely, extremely popular within the retail investor, she actually made a movie about the apes, said that, you know, this is scary and this is not right. Explained to everyone, audio problems, no cameras at the... It doesn't matter. The, none of they that matters. They don't, matter. because they, they don't put it together see... Like they don't see the actual product. Many people online... All they see is something they that's see shared. the clip. The clip okay. goes viral, and that's the only... You don't go to the original source. And this all goes back to Melvin Capital or something, and, and sh shorts, and... All she was doing was making a generic point. Someone was in my ear. I didn't hear a point. She was making a generic point about short covering. Short covering People rally. Were a short covering a short rally. Covering rally. People were positioned right. short. She was getting ready to say that. Suddenly... I've got to be there. I was here till 9.15 yesterday. I was interviewing Jim Cramer on his own show. He was doing a phoner. David Faber came on later, and his audio was it going through. It doesn't matter. None of that matter. I told, him every, I told him all that. Yeah. They don't care. And, and it just makes me wonder about Reddit and, and Twitter and social media and, and the world we're in right well, now. I don't, I don't think it's a great world. It makes you wonder about anything. I mean, they could do this, sound, they could do this with a politician. They, they do. do. And they do. On both sides. And, and the level of sort of... You know, it, it, is a, it is a true clip. It actually happened, but the context is different. But all they had to do is different. No one wanted the truth. None of them wanted to see what had happened. They didn't want to look to see that I right. anchored. And at this night. imagine this happening over and over and over again with different issues. Right. In different countries. None of them have their names. None industry, of them, they, I mean, they're all, all anonymous. Yeah. They, they say things that would be slanderous if they had a name, and they, and, but they don't even care. But, you know, whatever. That's if they want. I just worry about them. Because you know what they say, a fool and the money. I worry are, about our society. Right, right. But a fool and his money are, are soon to. parted. And I don't know whether these, some of these types should really be, um, <laughs> I'm not going to go there. Do what you, do what you want to do. Listen, guys, to give a full credit to their explanation, uh, this continuation of this short squeeze place and all this mess that uh, we're around, it's, it's creating a lot of like confusion. Some people are, you know, fearful that somebody's trying to, to, to influence directly over the short squeeze place, trying to 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 wipe out any potential uh, squeeze and hedge fund liquidations. Sure, we've seen a lot of things that are fishy and suspicious, but I think they they wouldn't make a separate you know episode explaining what exactly happened if this didn't actually blow out and if this actually didn't create a huge huge problem out there in the social media, right? So if they're making a special episode in which they're explaining what actually happened, uh, obviously, at least now, we can say that maybe the technical issues really were present back then. But again, uh, it's weird for me that he again mentioned short sellers and mentioned Melvin Capital. Is it all about this, right? Nobody's talking about Melvin Capital anymore. People are not there. So again, it's weird that, uh, you know, if he's trying to figure it out, why people are making up the case and trying to create a buzz or, or problem with this cut off interview, why he's making an association with Melvin Capital and Shorts. He could have made association with Bad Bad and Beyond. I know who, who he could have made association with many other retail favorite stocks. But again, uh, I tend to believe them, right? If they met a separate episode, if everything was, you know, covered up, nobody talks about, it would be even, even more uh, suspicious. But if they made a separate individual episode explaining what actually happened, uh, it was interesting. The only disappointment is that, you know, Melissa Lee was kind of a favorite, like I mentioned, to the uh, retail community. She made a movie about uh, the apes, the AMC, the revolution, the GameStop, right? And now she's essentially trying to say that the apes are wrong big time and she's comparing the apes with with the shoes in the political campaigns i don't know guys leave your thoughts in the comment section do you believe what you believe and why you believe in it subscribe to the channel like this video and come back for more